Welcome back to my channel. I'm Stylist Lee, and if you're new, be sure to subscribe below. So today, we're gonna to be doing a basic roller set. This is a perfect alternative if you wanna stop it using excessive heat. Always note that you need to start on freshly washed hair. You will need a clamp, a wrap tail comb, and a foaming wrap of your choice. Now that you know all the details, let's begin. So note number one, I typically like to do my roller sets on the area where the part's gonna be. So if I know my client wants to wear her hair on the left side, I like to do a part on the left and then roller set all the way around. You always want to make sure that you start off on freshly clean hair. Right now, all I'm doing is smoothing down the hair and sectioning where I'm going to be roller setting. When using setting lotion, you want to make sure that you don't overdo it. Too much setting lotion can actually dry out the hair and make your roller set very flaky. So if I would advise you, Depending on if you're using a, hold, a strong hold or a medium hold, you want to maybe stay between about three to four pumps, at the most five. When strategizing your roller set placement, always remember the larger the subsection, the less volume, the smaller the subsection, the more volume. Also keep in mind that the subsection will be based on the density of your hair. When doing your roller set, you want to make sure that you keep a even tension throughout the roller process. This is going to help with keeping the hair smooth and keeping that roller set in place. And I'm just going to place this roller here and this is just basically going to help with keeping the rollers from collapsing and leaving a dent in between the part. If this is your first time doing a roller set, you want to make sure that you don't oversaturate with setting lotion. Whatever the amount of setting lotion that you use in the beginning, you want to make sure that's the final amount. If for whatever reason your hair starts to dry in the process of you rolling, always keep a water spray bottle handy. And all you want to do is mist the hair. It's going to refresh up that setting lotion all over again and you can proceed with your rolling process.
Now that we've completed our roller set, we're gonna go ahead and put her under the dryer. Typically for average roller set time, I would suggest that you do about an hour to an hour and a half. You wanna make sure that your rollers are thoroughly dry throughout the hair because if they're not your roller set will not come out that well and you'll also notice that your hair may be frizzy it won't be smooth it won't have any nice natural sheen so all these things play a big part in a perfect roller set Looks like we're all finished. And here is our basic roller set. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. It's perfect, it's full of volume, it has a lot of density. For the sake of the video, I didn't put any oils or any um, serums on the hair. However, if you're at home and you wanna do this same look, you can use a nice serum just to seal down the cuticles and just to give yourself a good, nice sheen. A look like this should last you a good two to three weeks. As your hair gets a little bit oily and starts to produce a little bit more dirt, um, you'll notice that the volume starts to go down a little bit, but you may also like it as it gets older. You'll notice that the lines start to disappear. The um, It gives it more of a bump look. So you kind of get two styles. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you follow me over to the next video, I'll show you my one minute wrap. I look forward to seeing you there.